Hello and welcome to this new video on Ansible models. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate um, a VM in VMware Workstation GNS3 that you can use in your labs and everything. So back on VMware Workstation, for my previous video, I installed Ansible on this controller, which is a um, Linux or it's Kali Linux. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate this VM into GNS3 where you can use um, this VM in your labs and everything. First of all, let me shut the VM down. Now, open GNS3, go to Edit, Preferences, and I'll go to VMware. Most importantly, when you come here, you need to configure these interfaces. So these are the interfaces that the VM that you are going to integrate into GNS3 is going to pick in order to communicate with all the nodes in GNS3. So once you select the range of interfaces that you want, click on configure and it will configure. I already have my configured, so I will show you. So as you can see, I configured from two, five, because one is excluded, one is for host network, and then eight is for that network. So as you can see, these are my interfaces right here. So you can do the same to get your interfaces configured. Now, when you are done, come to VMs. This is where you add your VM to GNS3. So now you go to new. Then you go to run this VM on my local computer. Click on next and now select the VM that you want. I already have um Kali there, so I might um I will choose Ubuntu and then I'll click on finish. When you click on finish, you're not done. Click on that particular VM, go to edit, then go to network. Then select allow GNS3 to override non custom VM adapters. So GNS3 has its own interface configured. Okay. And then when you select this option, it's going to um, override the interface that is um, configured on the VM, not, um, not on GNS3, but this particular interface is a non custom GNS3 adapter. Okay. But then the one that we configured from two to four, I don't know what you might choose, is the custom GNS3 VM adapter. So this letting this will override it and it will enable you to communicate with your nodes in GNS3. So I'll click on cancel. You have to click on OK. Remember that I already have mine installed. I'll delete move this VM. Now I already have mine installed. So this is the Kali. Go to edit. As you can see on network, I have this installed. Okay, and I'll click on OK. So now I'll just create any rough topology. Okay, so I have this simple topology over here. I have Kali here. I have one switch. So I will start. Okay, so let me start from the scratch. So after installing the VM, you go to devices, see Kali down here, just drag it onto your canvas. You select the cable, you connect it to the switch. Now it's time to power on Kali. Click on start. Kali will start in a minute. So as you can see, Kali is starting using um, the GNS3 custom adapter or also start this virtual PC right here. I'll go to console to get the console of this particular virtual PC. So it already has an IP address, so IP. Okay, so I configured an IP address on this particular virtual PC. 
Now back on Ali. Ali is now booting. So let's wait for Kali to boot and then we will log in and configure the IP address. Okay, so now Kali is up, log in. Okay, so now from here, I can configure a static IP address on Kali. I'll go to IPv4. I'll select manual add 192.168.1.1. No gateway needed. I'll click on save. I'll close it. Now, because of my previous lapse, I need to restart the network manager for Kali. Now it's back on. So, if config. Shows me the IP address on this particular interface. It's 1.10. Okay. So now we have we have 1.50 here. So now let's ping 1.10. See if we have reachability. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I have to start this switch. Sorry. Okay, so now we can try again. Okay, so this should work. I don't know why it's not working. Think 192.168.1.50. And as you can see, I can reach the device from here. Sometimes the virtual PC doesn't work as um, preferred. But as you can see, this is the IP address on the virtual PC. And as you can see, I can reach it from my Kali machine. So there's nothing wrong with my setup. Everything is fine. Thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.